Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, FAA issues airworthiness directives on 5G, Old Swiss Civil Air Patrol notes 80th anniversary, and Royal Air Force complete sustainable flights. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. FAA issues airworthiness directives on 5G. The FAA has issued two new airworthiness directives regarding the impending and temporary postponed rollout of 5G networks, in addition to the approved AFMs for transport and commuter category aircraft will be amended with updated radio altimeter flight restrictions for select locations to be named by no TAMs for the area. The agency also invites aeronautical, avionics, and telecommunications companies to help identify exactly which areas are most likely to develop signal interference or altimeter errors. The agency is on a shorter timeline than usual, noting that a number of 5G network providers are due to begin service in January 2022. The public has 45 days to review and comment on the changes, with the amendments effective once published to the Federal Register. The FAA plans to use data provided by telecom providers to determine exactly which C-band stations or similar technology that would impact altimeter operation at the appropriate airports. Of course, the change is usable instrumentation could significantly alter approach procedures, noting that these limitations could prevent dispatch of flights to certain locations with low visibility and could also result in flight diversions. After the break, NASA selects new class of astronauts. More news after these messages. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at Zephyr.eu. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The National Aeronautics Space Administration released the list of its newest class of astronaut candidates. Naming 10 of the newest generation to a pilot corps that hasn't seen new blood in more than four years. Their training is set to begin in January of 2022 and last for two years as they move through the five primary astronaut categories. By the end of their course, they'll have learned how to maintain, operate, and repair a number of the International Space Station systems in orbit, as well as vitally necessary skills for orbital survival. Dassault Falcon 6X receives engine approval. The Dassault Aviation Extra Widebody Falcon 6X has passed another milestone on its way to production after Transport Canada approved the use of the newest iteration of the Pratt & Whitney PW800 series, the high-efficiency PW812D. Currently in flight testing, the engine program has completed more than 500 hours of flight time across 150 flights as Dassault evaluates fuel efficiency, maintainability, and performance for the installation. Grandview Pilot C-Pay Boost 
Charter operator Grandview Aviation launched an improved compensation and benefits package for its flight crew ahead of a hiring blitz, boosting salaries and offering an appropriate hiring bonus. The company has seen impressive growth, becoming one of the world's largest Phenom 300 operators in the world, becoming the second most active light jet charter operator in the U.S. The outfit should be an attractive position for those pilots who seek the Phenom 300 with each of its fleet racking up an impressive 1,300 hours each month. Aerobotics to develop solar panel cleaning drone. Aerobotics will bring its UAS drone and aerial data expertise to bear alongside solar drones know-how in solar farm services. The two companies will develop and supply a unique automated panel cleaning system that includes the necessary docking system, battery replacement, and cleaner replenishment services. For a small battery tender, such an issue is easily addressed. In the vast, unattended, desert panel farms miles away from human settlement, however, an on-site janitor check probably isn't just outside the camera's view. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now, as we turn to the rest of the news, Civil Air Patrol notes 80th anniversary. Civil Air Patrol members throughout the United States and in overseas squadrons have been celebrating a commitment that began December 1, 1941, and has continued for 80 years. More than 56,000 members, youth and adults, volunteer their time and talent to perform essential emergency services, advance aerospace and STEM education, and provide youth programs that build career, enhance physical and mental fitness, and shape the leaders of tomorrow. Civil Air Patrol members draw strength from our 80 years of history, said Major General Edward D. Felka, Civil Air Patrol's National Commander and CEO. On this milestone anniversary, today's volunteers take a great pride in continuing the important work of our predecessors. Just as we did in Civil Air Patrol's early years, volunteers continue to perform vital missions of America, including homeland security, youth training, and advancement of science and technology, and so much more. Our proud past is a launching pad for us to rocket into the future. Civil Air Patrol was founded in December 1941, one week before the U.S. entered World War II. Since then, its mission has evolved over the past eight decades to meet the ever-changing needs of America's communities. After these messages, Royal Air Force complete sustainable flights. Those details after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. A United Kingdom test by the British Royal Air Force announced their successful flight using 100% synthetic fuel, reportedly the first in the world. The fuel was manufactured in Orkney through the extraction of hydrogen and carbon from water and atmospheric sources, then combined with locally generated wind tidal and wave energy. The fuel was tested in a Rotax-powered Comco Icarus C-42 microlight aircraft, 
set to run at lower temperatures than traditional petroleum fuels. The current base of testing could indicate that continued use of the synthetic fuel could lead to lowered engine stresses and expanded lifespans while reducing carbon emissions by up to 90%. The fuel underwent a series of ground tests by CFS Aeroproducts, a road tax distributor in the UK, and the Zero Petroleum team prior to flight testing. The engine used in the test were said to respond similarly to standard fuel stock, possibly meaning that other fuels can be created going forward for any drop in requirements. Throughout the testing process, each engine required was left in factory stock condition, needing no modifications for the synthetic fuel. Whether or not the same feat will be so simply replicated on other engine series, however, remains to be seen. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aaron User Airborne in the directory and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.